Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Systems. In today's video, we will talk about fan coil unit or FCU. After watching this video, you will learn what is an FCU, what are types of FCU, what are components of an FCU, how to control an FCU, and in the last, you will learn about advantages and disadvantages of FCUs. In previous video, we discussed about air handling unit or AHU, which is installed outside the serving zone preferably on a roof or in the basement or in some plant room. An AHU takes fresh and return air, condition this air and supply it to the building zones using a network of ducts and diffusers, as you can see on your screen. While on the other hand, an FCU is a device which is installed in the area or the room being served. It can be installed above the ceiling or exposed to the occupants. Each zone or room have its own dedicated FCU which is being controlled from a thermostat installed in that zone. Chilled and hot water is supplied to the FCU through a network of pipes. As you can see on the screen, there are two FCU units. Each FCU is supplying a different area and installed in the same area which is being served. So FCU is a device which uses a fan to take the indoor air of the room, blows it over a cooling or a heating coil and supply the conditioned air to the same room. Fresh outdoor air can also be provided to the FCU for ventilation purpose. Here is an FCU installed exposed to the occupants. Ducts are connected to this FCU to take the conditioned air and this air is supplied using the diffusers. Here this small duct is supplying to the same area where this FCU is installed and here this second duct is also supplying to this area while these two ducts are taking the air to the adjacent spaces. So now let's discuss about different types of FCUs. First type is a ceiling concealed type FCU which is installed uh, above the false ceiling. And then we have ceiling cassette type FCUs. There are also wall mounted type FCUs same like the split units which we have uh, installed in our homes. And then there is a floor mounted type FCU. Now let's have a look at installation of different FCUs inside a building. First of all, we have a concealed type FCU which is taking this return air and conditioning this air and supplying it to the same zone. Here as you can see we have four pipes. This is a four pipe system in which two pipes are used to take the chilled water to the cooling coil and the other two pipes are being used to take the hot water to the hot coil. These are two fans uh, inside the FCU. In some installations we also have two pipe system where only cooling or only heating is required. Here we have a floor mounted type FCU which is taking this return air and supplying the conditioned air. These are the pipes to take the chilled and hot water and then also a duct is in also installed to supply the conditioned air to the adjacent area. So here is how an FCU installation looks like. In commercial buildings, mostly concealed type FCUs are used which are installed above the ceilings. So now let's have a look at different components of an FCU. First of all, we have a fan which takes the indoor air and blows it over to the heating or the cooling coils. We can have a single fan or dual fan as you can see in this uh, on your screen. This fan is a multi speed fan usually three speeds low speed medium speed and high speed. When difference between the temperature set point and room temperature is large fan run at high speed to achieve quick heating or cooling. When this difference decreases fan shifts to the medium speed and then to the low speed. Then we have a cooling coil which is used to cool down the air. A motorized valve is used to control the amount of chilled water supply to the coil. A small valve size is required for FCU. So usually two position or floating actuators are used. Modulating actuator can also be used but it is expensive. In my previous video I discussed about the valves and actuators in details. So you can have a look at that video also. I will give the link in the description. If moisture level of air is high, the condensation happens as air passes over the coil. So a condensation pan is provided to collect this water. If heating is required, then a heating coil or an electric heater will also be the part of an FCU. 
now let's discuss how to control an fcu there are two ways to control an fcu first way is to use a local thermostat for standalone control and then other way is to use a ddc controller now let's have a look at both of them in details first of all for the standalone control we are using a local thermostat which is not connected to the bms so we will not be able to control or monitor this type of fcu from the bms selection of the fcu thermostat for your application is very important you shall keep the following things in your mind while selecting a thermostat for your fcu first thing is the control voltage control voltage of the thermostat shall be matching with the requirement of an fcu second thing is your system two pipe or a four pipe system a two pipe system is a heating only or a cooling only system while a four pipe system is a both heating and cooling system so you shall keep in mind this thing while selecting a thermostat because there are different thermostats for two pipes and four pipe systems another very important parameter is what type of control is required for your cooling and heating valve actuators is it a two position floating or a modulating control second method to control fcu is using a ddc controller which can be an application specific controller a small ddc panel is installed beside the fcu preferably above the ceiling a valve module is connected to this ddc to provide the room temperature value temperature set point can also be modified using this valve module the controllers shown on the screen are backnet mstp controllers all these controllers are looped together and then are connected to a backnet router this backnet router is then connected to the bms workstation using uh, a cat6 cable so we can fully control and monitor all of our fcus on the bms workstation usually we can connect 30 to 35 controllers in a loop in this control method we can fully control and monitor the fcus from the bms workstation now let's have a look at some advantages and disadvantages of uh, fan coil units first advantage is lower installation cost than the central systems like ahu in also we have individual room level control of the temperature and uh, we don't require extensive ducting for the fan coil units the disadvantages are as follow first of all there can be a high noise from the indoor fan especially during speed changes maintenance of the valves and actuators is difficult and it has to be performed in the occupied space also condensate water drain system is required for the units which operate at low dew points so guys thank you for watching if you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel